Hurry home any time so keen! Welcome back, Storytime Anytime viewers. Thank you for joining us today. Now, today's book is called Jensen Cleans His Room, and it's written by Kobe Greif and illustrated by Hallie Moss. Let's go have a listen. Jensen Cleans His Room. Hi, my name's Jensen. I'm a kid like you, and my parents said I have cleaning to do. Your room is a mess and must be handled today. If you don't tidy up, you won't be able to play. Ugh, I yell with a stomp and a boom, staring at the pile of clothes in my room. It seems too big and will take me forever. But I finally start by picking up my red sweater. I make three piles and place them on the floor. One to keep, one to donate, and one I'm not sure. Then I search through my drawers from the front to the rear, keeping only the clothing I've worn this past year. Suddenly, I find an old shirt I used to wear with a fire truck on it being driven by a bear. I wore it all year from summer camp to school, on playdates, vacations and parties by the pool. It's too small, so it goes in the maybe pile on the floor. And I'll ask my parents what to do when I'm done with this chore. Now to the closet. I look side to side, even finding the outfits that I know I like to hide. I take it all out so I can put it back neatly. Like my dad says, to do it right is to do it completely. Finally, my clothing is now all put away and I'm a little bit closer to going out to play. It feels good to be done with all of that mess and even better, some clothes can go to those who have less. On to the toys and games. I sure have quite a stash. Should I keep them all or do some belong in the trash? When's the last time I played with any of this stuff? Do I need four teddy bears or is just one enough? When I was younger, I loved playing with this dinosaur toy. But maybe I'll donate it so someone else can enjoy. While having a few nice keepsakes is a must, they're not worth keeping if they just gather dust. Back to my maybe pile. What should I keep? I want everything, but do I need this big heap? I know, I'll keep five items that are most special to me and donate the rest of my old things to charity. Just an hour later and my room is cleaner by far. So I asked my parents to help bring my donations to the car. We place the boxes on the back seat and fill up the trunk. My mum taught me that someone's treasure can come from another's junk. Now, all that's left is the stuff I actually need. All the shirts that I wear, all the books that I read, all the toys that I play with, to the rest, goodbye. And the best of all, there's room for new toys to buy. My parents come to see how much I've done. With smiles on their faces, they say, wasn't that fun? I don't know about that, but my room sure is clean. The closet isn't stuffed and the floor can be seen. But can I keep it from getting messy again? Will I need to redo this chore when I'm nine and when I'm 10? My parents say, Jensen, do a little at a time. And when I forget, I should remember this rhyme. After you change your clothes or take out a toy to play, remember when you're done to always put it away. 
Jensen did such a great job cleaning his room and now he gets to play. Good on him. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to watch all the stories on our channel and we'll see you next time. Bye.